Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Ottoman Empire campaign in Victoria 2. So, we are encouraging communists. I said it wrong. Fascists, that's the one. And there is actually some potential now for a decent uh, uprising. I am not going to lose, or I'm not going to gain infamy for nothing. So yeah, look at this. Look at the fascist. Go, go, go. We might become fascist. Which me, me, you know, most likely is not it's not exactly the smart strategical choice to do. But I think it would be fun and interesting because it's gonna allow us to well maybe it's gonna allow us to do some interesting stuff. For example, I think we might be able to annex Serbia at some point if we have some if I mean if we're lucky. I don't really know what the exact requirements are to just get uh you know, a free conquest castle spell against Serbia. Or any one state nation, but I know it's a thing. So. Yeah. Let's be friends with Romania. Go, Romania! Oh, yeah, that's right. France just lost their sphere, didn't they? Because they became communists. That's why they lost Romania. Or, or yeah, Romania was. Uh, I think they were French. Maybe we should even just take Serbia as well, because if I'm becoming communist, I will just lose them anyway, right? Meaning that. Oh, we can actually add them right now. Well, sure, why? What the hell? Yeah, because I mean, I, it would make sense that we, we that we would be gaining uh, Casas Bellis against our sphere buddies. Oh my God, the Russians are a secondary power. No, they're not. Well, they're going to be great power soon. Who are they beating? I don't know. They're beating China. Oh no. Well, poor China. Poor little China. Oh, what the hell was that? Fifty percent education efficiency. What on earth? Well, that was awesome. Oh man, I'm almost tempted to beginning uh, to begin like reducing. Ugh, but it's, it's so sad how like there's, there's there's more potential for reactionaries than there is for. So I just feel like like what are really the odds of the darn uh, communists even revolting? Oh, what is this? The release of Guangxi? Huh. I'm tempted to support that just for the lulls, but. It just, oh man, it does make sense. I mean, I do border them, but I don't even think you can walk, like, since this is a blue border, I don't think you can walk past it, although there's this border right here, so I do border them. I, strictly, strictly speaking, do border China. Fighting China is, it's just not useful. It's just not good. What? I do not earn anything from it. That's it. And it wouldn't serve any purpose. Although, if there's going to be a crisis, I should at least get some protection troops over there. Just to protect my borders, although, I mean, since we have this awesome bottleneck here and I am most likely totally outcompeting them in terms of tech, I am. So I can just dig in in these mountains and congratulations, the Chinese won't be able to do jack shit. Because uh, they cannot walk through all this blue stuff, I think. Um, although Kokan might, might get called in though. And who knows what other nations will get called in, although, you know, let's, let's see if this even becomes a thing before I think, oh no, it is, it is actually a thing. And they'll most likely ask me to join in the crisis, which is kind of bad. Unless they actually ask me, I'm not going to volunteer. If if Japan and China just want to fight it out without me, go. Go for it, man. No problem. I don't feel like fighting China. Doesn't sound fun at all. Because, I mean... Actually, it would be kind of fun. I might be able to take some territory, but I just know the only like logical thing would be to take this one. Everything else would just give me weird borders, and uh, even this would be kind of awkward. But and it's so useless, though. That's the thing. So darn useless. It's telling me that there is rebels in Portugal. There is, but it's not an issue, though. It's all good. Fine, fine, just fine. Okay, good. Uh, should we just go for it? Just get get the best army ever? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to get at this point. Maybe some more influence? Factory costs? Taxes, maybe? I mean, I mean, no. I don't think that's that useless. Or useful. Let's get some very basic naval shit instead. Boxer atrocities, really? 
1916. Because this is turning into war soon. But, but here's the thing though. Will I lose prestige here? I don't think I will. Will I? Don't know. Guess we're about to find out. No prestige lost. I don't know why anyone... I, like, I don't know why I wasn't forced into this, but... It's irrelevant. Now Japan is gonna go kill itself in China. Oh joy. Although maybe... It, I, I, I actually don't know who's gonna win this. How? What kind of tech do you have? You actually have really good tech, Mr. Japan. So I would actually vote on Japan for this one. Of course, China can mobilize like a gajillion million quadrillion people, so... That might be a thing in their advantage, but who knows? Who knows what will happen? And we're not making as much money anymore because my guy we're paying a lot of subsidies. Holy shit, what is going on here? What is happening to my factories? Why are they all, all of a sudden, just miserably failing at everything they ever tried to do? I don't understand. They were doing so well, but now they're just not doing well at all. I'm guessing it's because they're so ineffective because my nation simply is not capable of making any clerks. Because there's no clerks in these. Well, there's like some clerks. Like, what is this? Oh my, yes! Go fascism! Fascist march! But seriously though, what is happening? From investment. Yeah, I know. God, our people have to pay taxes to keep my shitty ass industry alive. That's sad. That is really sad. And it's only getting worse! Why is my industry collapsing? What happened? What is this? Why is everything going bankrupt? Why? What the fuck? I'm not gonna do anything that... What? What is... What, I, I don't... What? I'm so confused! Why is this happening? Why? Smaller automobile, telephone, it's all the modern factories primarily, it's like the automobile ones and shit. Why are they not working? Why are they just failing all of a sudden? Commerce! Help me! I need, need better tech, I guess, or clerks or something. Ah, fuck it, okay, um... Do we have enough fascists? Can I stop encouraging fascists for like two seconds and... Desperately try and get some clerks into my shitty ass factories. Let's try that. I this cannot this this is not gonna do the trick, man. Oh my god. And why am I upgrading them when they are failing this badly? I guess I'm paying money to keep my like my score high, but hmm. I don't know. This is so bad. I never understand like that. Ugh. If there's anything that annoys me in this game, it's the fact that the game, like, there's always things that go wrong, and I can respect that. But I hate the fact that the game doesn't tell you what is going on. Why are your factories all of a sudden collapsing? What happened? What is the reason? Is the, like, I feel like it's weird that they have to, that they force you to sort of go analyze all this crap yourself. I mean, I would be guessing that the price of these products just... You know, it's just not a thing anymore. Well, I guess we'll try and put our people into working. No, that that one is also what on earth? Cyprus, you go build. I don't know. Maybe I I don't know what factories are actually doing well. Some of them are doing well for some reason. Some of these factories are doing awesome. And it might be because of yeah. There's actually a decent bit of clerks here. Maybe that's the answer to life and all the questions. Let's go ape shit. Go clerks. Clerks, clerks, clerks. We need it. I think, I hope. I hope that's... I hope, oh man, I really hope that's the solution to everything here. But last time I tried to encourage clerks, it just didn't happen. The clerks just didn't feel like, you know, appearing. No one was promoted to clerks and I... I I never googled it. I So I still don't know what happened. Or what is happening, or what is going on. Don't know. 
Well, let's go get clerks in all the primary, like, important places. Like, this one is doing great, this one is doing awfully. Why is this? I don't know. Eight clerks, four clerks. I mean, is that that big of a difference? The clerks help out that much. I barely even know what clerks do. I am so confused. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, you need clerks. Cler Everyone need clerks. Needs need clerk clerks. Damn it! All right, let's try and desperately see if this changes anything. Please fix my darn industry. Oh, oh, it's going. It's going. It's going down. No, it's it's just. No, uh, well, I don't know. It's not good. No, no, it's not going down. It's just stabilized around this really awful place. Okay, uh, pensions maybe? Subsidies? Let's get some basic subsidies. Well, that might not be smart, because I'm kind of trying to encourage revolt here, so giving the people kind of what they want is not... It doesn't sound like a smart thing to do. Input efficiency. All this derpy ass prestige, I just don't care. Factory cost is irrelevant. Input efficiency though, this might be good, although is there any- no, let's get this one. I don't know if that actually improves anything, but maybe producing some more raw materials or some shit like that helps. I don't know. Okay, did that decision- oh my god, I just killed off a bunch of my fascists. Crap. No! My darn fascists, they're going away! No! No, my fascists! Nope, no, nope. stabilized. Okay, pro tip: do not, do not give the people what they want when you're trying to piss them off. Bad plan, very bad plan. Okay, how close are we getting to the death of Egypt? We still have a truce, so that's 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 happening. Get some more oil. I have absolutely no complaints. Well, that's right. Yeah, uh, Russia is they just they temporarily at least lost their position as a great power and they still have not regained it um, so this is good because this allows me to sort of capture Central Asia in a nice way Fuck, I'm gonna lose so much of my sphere when I turn fascist if I ever turn fascist at this current pace I don't think I will, I'll ever be fascist right the clergy thing didn't help out at all and Germany is at war uh, with a lot of people actually oh crap hello hello Hello, Great War. Yeah, the fucking... Oh my god, the Third Great War? What happened? Germany just decided to invade someone for the lulz? Yeah, I'm not gonna deny you. Leituva. Huh. Okay. Well, as if my economy wasn't bad enough. Tax everyone, get some tariffs. Although tariffs is not going to help my economy, is it? I need my economy to do well, and it's failing, and I do not understand. I have a, I have the technology. All I don't have is clerks, and clerks are impossible to get, so I do not understand. How does this game expect you to do anything when the thing you're supposed to do is impossible? Oh my god, I am so confused, and I just don't get it. Alright, so what's the diplomatic situation? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, this is irrelevant to me, although we are fighting Britain. That is actually kind of scary. Fuck. Because guess who's got, like, no troops in this area? That would be me. Well, I'll let them occupy, because it's all colonies, so it's not... going to be a big deal. And I don't think I'm going to demand too much in this, if anything, because it's not my war. So I don't get to decide who gets what. Mm, I just don't like that. I don't want to waste a bunch of infamy and manpower fighting in a war that I do not know what I will gain from. I mean, like, if there is a war that is... If, if, if it's questionable that I will gain even a single thing from it, why bother, right? Okay, so there's no purpose to having troops along the Austrian border anymore, because that's pretty much an allied area now. Because of the fact that it's been sphered. Okay, so now actually we hold, can you, can you, is it possible to walk to this place? I don't know. Oh my god, my money. No, actually it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, we're, we're definitely losing money here, but what is, why is this? Did I attack here? I don't know if I did, but if I did, it's like, that's okay actually. 
It's fine, fine, just fine. I'm tempted to go a little bit on the offensive here, but I do not know how smart I would be though. So I'm gonna get there. Yeah, so I'm gonna get there first. And are you actually gonna attack me? You are! My god, you're dumb. Let's get like the best defense dude in like ever. I wish you could like sort them after the like what they're good at. I guess all the good people are already, you know, assigned to things. So I don't know, I don't know if that was... I am not going to bother. Defeating Russia is going to be easy. Britain, on the other hand, that might be difficult. Because of this! I mean, this is a lot of troops. It's a lot of troops, indeed. And there's not much I can do about it. It's the, oh. Do I know who you have access through? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty obvious that my enemy in this war is Britain. That's the enemy I have to look out for, because that's the actual threat. So I'm going to try and create a bottleneck or something along those lines. I'm going to try and hold my line to some extent, but at what... How much of a success that's going to be, it's that's questionable. Yeah, we're going to bring all the tanks and artillery over there. I don't know, do, what, what is it? What is artillery? Is, does artillery kind of compare to infantry? Do they serve the same role as infantry? Or is it different? I don't know. These guys go can go down to Africa as there is actually... Yeah, well, there are some troops here. Not that many, though. I just wonder who, have, who has gas attack and who has not. Why did I... Hmm... I almost wish the AI told, like, if you're, like, I almost wish your allies told you about these, like, crazy-ass wars before they happen, right? Like, by the way, I'm invading Russia, maybe you should prepare your armies? Although, in their defense, I should have done that, like, I should have, I should have just had my armies on guard. I don't know why I have all these armies derping around. I guess it's rebel protection, but, I mean, how important is that? It is very important, because there's a communists all over this place, and... Oh my god, this is an issue. The fact that the British are taking all this, it's going to be really bad for me because a lot of my money come from Punjab because there's a lot of people over here. And there's even a chance that the British might be able to occupy all this before I can walk over here. I'm just going to kind of ruin my awesome bottleneck plan. Hold on, where am I losing? Oh fuck, oh hell. Oh my god, did I? Oh shit, fuck. Mr. I do not pay attention is ready for service. Shit. What is this not doing? I'm not doing well at all. I'm fucking. I'm fucking this up. I'm truly mocking this up. Yeah. Oh, hello. What do you? Why, how come we can stand in the same province? Oh, we can't. Well, let's try and swoop in here and kill you. Sure. Let's go for that. Try and kill them. They have awful tech, so maybe that'll work out. I don't know. Regardless, are they gonna go? No, they're not gonna go in there. Very good. Can you? Can I? Oh my god, can I peace out? I don't want. No, fuck, it's a great war. You can't peace out of great wars. No! I think we're winning this. I hope we're winning this. We have gas attack, which they don't, it seems. But we don't have any dig down pen. I'll dig down, um advantage thingy stuff so that's the thing yeah let's go just blockade everything over there bring these troops over here and you guys should go to cert and try and fend off the french over there we have some derps not doing anything over here that's not nice um you guys can pretty safely go down and take them i think i think the same applies over here I don't know. No, I'm not gonna be a little. Gonna try and be a little bit careful here, because being careful is smart. So we're indeed winning a lot of this. Um, so we are attacking. Are we attacking there? I don't know. But let's support at least. We're also pushing into this place, which is okay, and we're winning there. We have set up our sort of blockade blockade thing, but our morale is awful. What am I not paying attention to? 
don't know. Maybe they have not signed the treaty or I don't know. I'm guessing it's technology. I'm guessing I'm lagging a little bit. Am I? I mean, I don't have this thing. I fuck. I should. I need to get that. Second, I'm done with this. I'm gonna go for that. I should have. Oh man. Well, I think we got this though. I don't think we're gonna lose this war. It's just a question of how costly is it gonna be. You know. I have a feeling it's gonna be quite costly. The pull. No. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, but maybe this will encourage fascists, the fascists, uh, to revolt. Come on, fascists. Go revolt now. It's really fun. You should totally try it out. It's the best. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we did kill some Brits over here. That's good. Can I get there? No, close. Will that scare them off? No, it won't. Let's not go there then. Let's try and sneak around instead and see if we can kill off some of these troops we can kill. This guy is going to Nikki, which is not good because that allow that will allow to allow him to reinforce this army over here, which means that I don't. Maybe if we can just sort of blitz it, uh, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Let's just go for it, man. Let's just go for it. Go for it and bring in some more men. So the British are not attacking my sort of blockade here. Which is nice. I'm desperately bringing reinforcements in. To try and hold them off. So, oh, there's no digging. Why are you not digging in? Shouldn't you be digging in? Three out of... Okay, so they do have dig in. Good. Dig trenches already. Darn it. Why you no trenching? Alright, so we're going to attack him in Kabul. Um, that's not good. Might have to split some of these armies up a little bit to try and reinforce that. But that'll most likely just make them go to other places. Oh, man. This is stressful, man. Stressful. Okay, so yeah, they retreated there. I think they're going over. Balance things out a little bit. I guess we are safe to go on the offensive now. Which we might as well do, although I kind of want to cut off this area, so let's actually take these guys and send them all south. I think I think Germany has all this under I think I think they got that. So what else? Uh Finland. Oh, I guess Finland becomes independent. That's that sounds like fun, so why not? Might just get annexed by Scandinavia, but it's whatever. I don't know, and I I don't know why they're spending infamy on that, but they are. So let them let them have let them have their fun. Okay, the attack have begun. How long until? Oh man, I think we need some reinforcements here, man. Oh man, I do believe we need. Well, I know we need reinforcements. It's just how many. Uh, this might do it actually. We ha yeah, we have a magnificent digging penalty. Uh, terrain is good. We have mountains. Where's the digging penalty though? I don't see it. Leader defense. Yeah, it's a thing. But where's the digging penalty? Bitch, I've been digging in. Why you no give me digging penalty? But yeah, we're gassing the shit out of these people though. Like everyone. I, I am I one of the few people who actually have gas attack? I don't know. If I am, that's pretty cool. And very helpful. So, okay, the Russians are taking Moscow. Hopefully, the Germans will eventually push far enough, far enough up here to deal with that. Did we succeed over here, or did no? They just ran away, which is actually totally fine by me. And we snuck around over here, which allows us to just swoop in and kill these French people. We also have this army ready. Uh, attack plus four, I think. Yes, go for it. We have the. Italians getting defeated over there, and that's not gonna do it. Uh, so yeah, fund the navy, ruin the economy, and go kill them. I don't know if they can get there in time, but we're gonna try. We have a, we have a decent navy. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, we just unlocked dreadnoughts as well, so we'll most likely be building some of that. Okay, so are you guys? No, it's even worse now. My industry is dying. So sad. I might just have to cancel the thing. Which is really awful. Okay, they're going to Gaza. Oh, fuck. I don't think we have enough troops. We need more troops over here. 
They're just going to outnumber me eventually. Yeah, this army totally needs to bring go down to India instead. Priorities, bro. Uh, same goes for these guys. These guys shouldn't... Well, actually, we're going to hold our ground here. Have you been digging down? Yep. They have indeed been digging trenches and stuff. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is, you know, in, in the year where the... Uh, First World War was happening, so it's realistic that we're all digging down and people dying in the trenches and stuff. It's it's all good. Well, it's not all it's not all good, but it's all it's happening. It's a, it's a thing, you know. Right. Can, 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 Germany, peace out. Wait a oh, second. Am I the world leader? That doesn't make any sense. Why not? Am I the fucking hell? Can we just peace out then? No, we can't. Well, if I just don't, really, we actually. Oh, come on. We have to 100% this. Although, this is... Oh, okay. Then we can actually add some Dark War goals then. Yeah. <gasps> I know. Oh my god. We can totally add the United Provinces. There's like infinite people. Oh my... Yeah, we totally have to do that. That sounds like fun. Although, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the war going. Okay, so I didn't know this. But we are actually in the control of... The, we're actually in control of this war. So we are the ones who say what happened... Maybe I'll want to mobilize at some point, actually. Might be smart. Right, they have attacked over here. Let's rush in to help. Once these guys are dead over here. Oh my god, I'm getting killed over here, though. Okay, that was a victory. Alright, so we, just need, we need to just 100% this. Italy acquires some French stuff. That's That's fine, I guess. God damn, okay, we need more troops in Punjab, or just, yeah, it, India, go, everyone, to fucking India, now. If Africa falls, I just don't give a shit. India, on the other hand, that's where I might be wanting to do my expansion. Of course, industry, I can't build any, any industry over here. It doesn't matter, though, because, let's face it, my industry is awful, so it doesn't hurt me anything at all. Now, I think I would actually be better off conquering colonies than just conquering actual states at this point because my industry is so fucking bad All right fascists are you even trying no you're not you're just being lazy what would the cost for the united provinces be uh british punjab no really there's a british punjab oh yeah there's oh come on really that's not nice although there's a nation here called Shim Simla. Which, if I took this province, I could release it. Okay, how much does it cost to place in the sun? I don't think it's awfully bad. 14 war score and... Well, it's about as much as the states. It's 3.3. But we have a decent bit of infamy to spare, so... If we could take the United Provinces, Shimla, just because, it, it you know, it's positive infamy. Uh, we could also be further greedy, and we can push further in and take, like, Bihar, maybe even try and get down here to, um, like, there is so many people living here in northern India. Two million, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of the same as China, and that would really weaken the British as well if I took all this stuff. And it would look awesome, and be awesome, and just, awesomeness, man. What's the cost, by the way, for, like, releasing some of these Indian states? Of course, they're all civilized by now, so it doesn't actually matter at all. Never mind then. Let's just keep the war going and see if we ever... I, I, I don't want to make too many plans until I actually know like that it makes sense, you know? Because we have to like 100% this, I think, to get anything through. Of course, we don't have to occupy everything to do that, but it still is kind of brutal. Alright. Oh, my, my, my morale, though. So bad. So awful. Terrain, gas. Yeah, the gas is good. The gas is good. But I do not understand why there's no digging penalty. I th like it says here, digging level five out of five out of five, right? Yeah, there's no It doesn't seem to apply in the battles, which is so weird, as the digging thing was so important at this point in the game, right? So I do not understand or in this at this point in history, really. Right, so we kill the French over there. Let's continue killing them and just take all this and end, end that. Maybe we can even... Oh, man. I feel like we should like take all our troops and focus on one thing, one place.
place at the time, because attacking at this point in the game is really dangerous. Although if digging actually doesn't apply in this campaign for some weird reason, then attacking is not that bad at all. Because it's, it's the digging that's the real big danger here. And the advantage. You can see how... How dead a lot of these British people are because of the digging. I, th I think it's the digging? I don't know. I would guess that it is the digging. Oh man, I wish you could get more war score for um, for battles. We would have totally been winning this. Battles, plus 50. Is that like the max? I think it might be. It sounds like it sounds like a kind of a maxi thing. Yeah, we need to kill these Russians. This is not gonna this is not okay. This is not acceptable. Darn it, Germans, what are you doing? Why are you not helping me killing Russians? Just sitting around occupying. Well, that, that's actually good. That gives us good war score that we totally need. We won here. Let's go help out the next battle. See, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep, hold this place until the British are so dead that I can just swoop in and blitz India. That's like that's my late game strategy, anyways. Defense is like the best. Because of the digging, of course, if the digging actually... Oh, holy shit, why are we attacking here? In the darn hills? What is this? I do not... I don't, I don't get it, no? I don't know, actually, I think we can win it, though. Uh, if the digging... Uh, digging, digging, how many times have I said digging? Mm, yeah, battles plus 50, it's the, it's the max we can get. We might be able to push further forward a little bit here, actually. Although the awful attrition, so let's actually split this army just so that everyone won't, everyone won't die. And having smaller armies on the front line or whatever you want to call it is good because it convinces the AI to invade you. Or attack you, I mean. And you want them to attack you. Please win this really quickly. Uh, thank you. We do not want any of these like major British armies to come in to support these attacks. Because then I would be suffering from the same things that have basically sort of killed off the British here. So we don't want to do the same mistakes the AI is doing. That's always a good... Just don't do what the AI is doing. The AI is dumb and you can walk over here. That's practical. Yeah, everyone everyone go. Go to India. It's the, th it's the shit. Yeah, uh, we gotta take a look at good old Egypt here, because I'm not- I refuse to end this game without Egypt annexed, right? And we did indeed win against the British. Let us- uh, I want like, four attack. Uh, but I'm lazy and I don't want to find another leader, so... No, let's just go there. Like, yeah, that stops them. Good, okay, let's just reoccupy this, or just- I don't know. I feel like we want to start out by just killing them. It's always a good thing to start out with, right? Of course it is. Yeah, retake all this. Occupation is going to be the main source of war score now because we have maxed out our, you know, the war score regaining from battles here. So, right, everyone go apeshit. The apeshit will be glorious here. And we will kill the Russian. Russian scum. And I think we've killed off a lot of them. They still have this army, which is kind of scary still. But I think we're we're at the, we're at a point where we can do some offensive things. Not offensive as in offensive, but you know what I mean. Militarily offensive. That still sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, fascists? Fascists? No? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of them. They're, 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 they're working on it. They're trying. They're, they're doing the best. Ah, oh, shit. I should have released Georgia before this. Well, I guess it, it should matter. Okay, we took that. I don't want to... Uh, yeah, let's just look out for these like really tiny armies. And that, those are the ones we're killing. To push the British back into India. Like this. This is scary. This is not healthy. This is not good. I love the way all these Indian puppets, they didn't actually join because... Well, that doesn't actually make any sense. Why on earth are they not in this war? I don't know... Uh, but I do care, and it's awesome that they aren't, because that would be bad. Alright, let's slowly begin retaking some of this stuff. But I'll... Oh, no, he's getting, gaining reinforcements there. 
I think I might have to leave out... Oh, hello. Yeah, you're not attacking there. That's not smart. Yeah, okay, that works. That should stop him. Right, I think we have to kill off some more of them. So let us try to convince them to be stupid and... Because everyone's going to attack. That's okay. Come on, leave this province, please. I want to take it. Right, if they could just... Like, if I could like force them, or not necessarily force them, but convince them one way or another to just attack me now, that would be great. So let's leave like a bait army here, and then once they attack, I'll just pour everything into it. My god, this industry. My economy wouldn't actually be that bad if it hadn't been for my shitty ass industry. I mean, you would think that industry would be a positive thing, but nope! This is the Ottoman Empire. I, I, what, at what year did this happen? Like, it, it was all going so well, and now everything is just not going well at all. Don't know. Don't know, I don't understand, it's just weird, and you know. It's just weird. Okay, everyone is going crazy on the war goals now, that's okay. Keep fighting everyone. Uh, once we get to 100, I'll, I'll, start th I'll start thinking about what to do once we get to 100. Right, look at this juicy, nice army here. Mm, man, look at this. Attack plus four? That's not gonna do it. We need defense. Defend, please. No defensible... What? Really? You will lose... I will lose prestige. Never mind, we'll have an attacking general in a defensive position. Yeah, you can still see how they have, like, some really nasty armies here. So we need to prepare, and yeah, these armies are awfully unbalanced. Uh, it's so bad. Oh well. It's okay. It's okay. You can just start retaking that while you wait for this army to come around and then we'll go kill them. Good. Yeah, this army's not doing anything. That's not that's not gonna do it. Go there or something. Everyone, ever, everyone, do something at least. You know, that's that's the main thing here. Let's try and connect our occupations here a little bit. Who are you? Are you my friend, Mister Netherlands? Are you on my side? Yes, you are. Hold on, what is that? Fascism! I, I, I'm guessing they're the only fascist country, actually. It makes sense, though. I mean, there's a plenty of Danish cores all over the place, and Danish do not own shit of it. Alrighty, um, let's take a look over here. So, yeah, okay, so I guess this, the good thing about this Great War is that it might give us the money to keep our industry alive for a little bit longer. Because I think, uh, yeah, the uh, the British have fallen for my little trap here, and they are indeed being stupid, and they're marching towards my army. I think I can even sneak in some more troops, because they are so... Yeah, okay, 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 and now, now it doesn't matter. Let's just everyone go crazy here. Hopefully they'll pour in some more troops. I might have gone a little overkill. I should, almost should have just kept the battle a little bit, just so to try and convince them to bring in some more derps. Because that would be that would have been good. Whatever. Whatever. Hello, British. What are you? What are, I don't know where you're going. Just do whatever. What happened to China, by the way? You're still fighting Japan. Uh, and nothing is happening at all. Well, good for you. Good for you. Okay, so we're pushing the British back in India. That is nice. Although I think this episode's getting long. Yes, it is. Let's end it here. We'll continue this great war in the next episode. What is this? Fourth? Third? Yes, the third great war. So I think I'll I'll ditch the whole Russia thing at this point because, I mean, my industry, man, it, it literally just doesn't work. It is incapable of doing anything. And if, if you know, there's no there's no purpose to states if I cannot use them for anything good, right? And I don't know what else I would want from this, like... I think uh, the conquest of chunks of India is the obvious choice here. If I could just go apeshit down here and just take a bunch of provinces, uh, that would be awesome. Because there are so many people living here. And it would add millions to my population. I mean, there's a reason, like, there's 66 million people living in India, or even more than that. That's only the, the uh, male, adult male population. You might be able to outpopulate them. 
of course not our popular China because there's like I mean it's it's fucking China. But yeah. Um so yeah, we also need to end this war pretty quickly because our money is just non existent. Well, yeah I am rambling. Let's end it here. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.